Hi everyone, today for Number Corner, all you are going to need is your, <clears throat> excuse me, a math, your math notebook and a pencil. So go ahead and get those supplies, pause the video if you need to. If you are all ready, then we are going to get started. So, let's see. All right, so go ahead and turn to the page, your calendar grid observations page and write the date, which is 11-9, okay? So we had blue, green, green, purple a couple weeks ago, and then look at the height times length. We had one times one, one times two, two times three, three times four, okay? And then look at the squares and see if you can predict what the next one is going to be. Okay, now that you have an idea, maybe, hopefully, today is blue and we have two squares for the length and two squares for the height. So it is blue, so let's write that down. Okay, and our equation is going to be two times two. Okay, and remember we just write the equation for this part, and then in the next section we write the area, which would be four, the answer. Okay, is this a square? I would say yes, because it has two squares this way and two squares this way. So let's write yes. Okay, and then for the observations, I'm going to go ahead and let you write whatever you'd like for that. So there's the picture once again. Pause the video if you need to and write your observations for this square. Okay, once you are done, then I'm going to go ahead and make my line and write the date again, which is 11-9. Okay, and let's look. So we have blue, green, green, purple, blue. So think about what the next card might be. What color, what the height and length might be, what the area might be, and if it's going to be a square or not. Okay, the next one is green, kind of looks brown on there, but that is green. And it looks like we have one square for the height and one, two, three squares for the length. Okay, so let's write green right here. Okay. And our equation is going to be one times three. Let's write that down. Pause the video if I'm going too fast. And then the area is going to be three. Okay, is this a square? No, it's definitely not a square. So I'll put no. And then I will go ahead and let you write again the ob whatever observations you would like to put. So I'll, you can pause the video with the picture on there and then go ahead and write your observations. Once you are done with that, go ahead and turn to the next clean page in your notebook. And you are going to title it Equations with Variables and put the date. Equations with Variables. Okay, once you are done with that, if you need more time, pause the video. We, the first equation you're going to write is four times six equals t. So I wanted to remind you that this t is a variable. So I can put t or I can put four times six equals blank, or I can write it like this, four times six equals blank like that. It is the same thing. This variable right here, this, letter just represents a number. So go ahead and four times six is what? You should have gotten 24. So then we know that t equals 20 
four. Okay. Pause the video if you need more time to write that all down. Number two is four times t equals 24. Okay, so we already know four times six equals 24. So again, this t is just representing a number. So again, we can write it like this, four times blank equals 24. Okay, it means the same thing. So t equals six because four times six equals 24. I'm just going to circle that so that we know that that's our answer. Okay. Number three, t times six equals 24. So again, same thing, blank times six equals 24. Okay, that t is just representing a number. Don't let it scare you. Okay, so blank times six equals 24, t equals four. Four times six equals 24. Okay. All right, I have three other equations for you. So with variables, so three times m equals 15, c minus seven equals 10, and 25 plus 25 equals f. I want you to solve for m, c, and f for these three equations on your own. Okay, remember that the letters just represent a number. Don't let it scare you. So this is the same thing as three times blank equals 15. This is the same as blank minus seven equals 10. And this is the same as 25 plus 25 equals blank, okay? But just I just want you to get used to seeing those letters in, in these equations. So pause the video and uh, uh, solve for those three equations. Once you are done, then we are going to turn to our next clean page and we are going to talk about rounding to the nearest 10. So if you're not done with the last page, pause the video and, fi and finish that. If you are done, then we are going on here. So 11-9 again is our date, and then you're going to title your page rounding to the nearest 10. And we've done this a lot in our morning work. So remember five and up, we go up, four and down, we go down. Okay, so once you are done writing this title here, let's look at the number 23. So if I want to round to my nearest 10, see this is my one spot and this is my 10 spot. Okay, so if I want to round to the nearest 10, I'm going to look at my ones spot. Okay, so four and up, four and down, we go down, five and up, we go up. Okay, so three, is less than four, so this is going to round to 20. Okay, because it's closer to 20 than it is to 30. Okay, next one, 44. Okay, so I'm going to break up the number from my ones to my tens. Okay, so I want to round to my nearest 10. So that means, is it closer to 40 or is it closer to 50? So four and down, I go down. Five and up, I go up. So four and down, so that is going to round to 40. Okay. Next one, 57. I'm going to separate my ones from my tens. Okay, so I look at my seven. Five and up, I go up. Four and down, I go down. So seven is five and up. So I'm going to round up to 60. Okay, all right. Just like the next, the last page, I have two more numbers for you, 96 and 82. Let's separate them from our ones in our ones and tens. 
Okay, so now I want you to round these numbers to the nearest 10 on your own. Five and up, we go up. Four and down, we go down. So you're gonna be looking at the ones right here. All right, so go ahead and pause the video. When you are done with that, then you are all done for Number Corner. Have a great day. If you have any questions, please, please let me know.